Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I received an email from Michaels today and it was introducing its new digital design library and this is a free service that they're offering. So I wanted to show you some of the things that they have posted online that you can have for free. You'll notice some of them are SVG format but then some of them are JPEG format. But aren't these cute? I love this one. I'll definitely use it to make something. I think this could be really cute on something. These are cute. So many of them are really cute. And I like this print right here. Now let me close out of this and show you how you can find it. You can just Google Michael's Digital Design Library. And the first thing that comes up is right here and it says Michael's Canada, but this is it. So we're right back where we started from. I've downloaded two of these to my desktop. I have this JPEG of the Winter Woodlands branch and I have this Silver and Snow Deer by Michaels. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and then I want to show you something in Cricut Design Space. If you watch my videos much, you know that I've just learned to use Inkscape recently. I love it. I tried to use it a couple years ago or a year ago maybe, a long time ago, and I couldn't get it. And then I downloaded the newest version earlier in 2020, and I really, really like it. So what I want to do is show you this JPEG file converted to an SVG in Inkscape versus if you bring it in Cricut Design Space and clean it up there. So I'll start with that one. Let's say new project, upload, upload image, then I'll go ahead and browse my desktop and I want this holiday print. Now I'm going to say that's moderately complex because there's different shades of the green so I'll click on moderately complex, continue, and then I need to remove the background. To do that in Cricut Design Space, select and erase tool is what I want to click on and then I just click on the parts I want to go away. And what I want to go away is all of the white. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and I'm going to focus on this leaf right here because it would take way too long for this video to clean up the whole thing. But I'll go ahead and click on everything that I can quickly get rid of. Okay, so that was fairly quick. Let's look at preview. Now it still looks very, very bad. Let's hide the preview, get in a little closer. I thought I got rid of these, but apparently I was not successful. Okay, let's preview it again. Okay, not too good, but we're going to move on. Now remember, we're focusing mainly on this one. So let's go ahead and click continue. And then you can see it is better than all these around it. It's still not great, but it's better. So I'll go ahead and click on this one and save that as holiday print. Now let me show you in Inkscape how quick and easy it is to get an even better outcome. This is Inkscape 1.0. Let's import and then again I'll import that holiday print. Now I don't change these presets, I just go with what the defaults are. So I'll click OK and there it is. I'll go ahead and zoom in on it. Again we're mainly comparing this one to the other one, but you're going to see this comes in beautifully. So I'm going to click on Path and Trace Bitmap. Again, I just go with the defaults. I'm going to say OK. When I do that, I see a preview of what I'll get. If I'm not happy with that, I can change some of these, but I just go with what they, I just go with what they give me. So I'll click out of that, and then I'm going to go ahead and back out some again. Now there's two layers here. I have my original layer, which is 
on the bottom, and then my new traced layer. Sometimes I use this function with something that comes in as black. It's already a black image, and so it's kind of hard to tell which is which. The way you can tell is you can click on this nodes tool here. And notice that there are a lot of nodes in this image on this side. Let's go back to the select tool and I'll select the green one. There's no notes. So I know that's the old original one and I can delete it. Again, in this case, it's easy because it's a different color, but sometimes it's not so easy to tell. All right, now, just for purposes of demonstration, let's change that to inches and notice, actually, I'm just gonna change it to six inches because that's easy for me to remember. Okay, it is basically a six inch by six inch image. So I'll select File, Save As, and then I'm gonna save it as a plain SVG, and I'm gonna call it Holiday Print Inkscape. All right, I can go ahead and get rid of that. Now let's upload that one. So I'll browse, and it was called Holiday Print Inkscape. So I'll bring that in. It's already an SVG, so I can just go ahead and say Save. And here it is. So I'm going to select the Inkscape version plus the Design Space version and I'll insert both of those. Right now they're on top of each other. Here's the Design Space version. Here's the Inkscape version. Notice that it's only 2.117 inches. This is the only thing I found about Inkscape that I'm not that thrilled about is whatever you're working with comes in at a different size. So there's two ways to deal with this. The first way is just write down what your measurements are then you can go up and you can change your measurements up here. Ours was six inches. So that's one way. The other way would be don't worry about the size in Inkscape. Just get your images to the proportions that you want. Make sure your design looks good and then worry about the size in Cricut Design Space itself. But here is the Inkscape version. Very, very clear. If I zoom in on that, you'll see that. Very nice image. If there's anything about it you don't want, you could just erase that by itself, but then compare that to the design space image. It took a little bit of work to get this far, and it still doesn't look good. It took almost no work whatsoever to get this better version. So, if you haven't tried Inkscape yet, I would really recommend you give it a chance. Okay, so I'll delete that. Now let's see how our reindeer, which was already an SVG, came in. Go ahead and open that. It's already an SVG, so I can just say save, and then click on it and insert it onto my canvas. And my canvas is still huge from the examples I was showing you on the last one. But look how nice this is. Came in really crisp and clear and it was free. So check out Michael's Digital Design Library. Check out Inkscape. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks so much for joining me. Until the next video. Bye-bye.